One man and one woman. For 21 days, they have no clothes. I didn't really agree. In some of the harshest environments on the planet. Ah! I guess the best advice I can give myself is just do what you do. When my father died, when I was 10 years old, I didn't have a, a, a mentor. So I had a wrestling coach and I had a scout master that came along and said, you know, we're gonna mentor you. So I vowed ever since that time to mentor kids. When I learned the skills, I, I don't learn them necessarily just for myself, but I learn them to pass it on to the next generation. Ooh, are we getting close? I'm getting nervous. Up until about two years ago, I spent five years in law enforcement. I worked everything from patrol to undercover work for internet crimes against children and things like that. I've had to work through a multitude of child homicide cases. I actually was diagnosed with PTSD, and so I hope this experience will help me heal and get stronger. Magic day. It's a magic moment. not a naked person. Even though I used to be a cop, I don't have a lot of experience being around men in close quarters. Here we go. And I'm a conservative, Republican, cowboyish guy from Wyoming, looking for that hardcore mountain woman, you know? I get to go camping 21 days with a naked woman. Ooh, yeah. go hey. How's it going? I've waited all my life to meet you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrea. Angie, I'm Joe. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am so excited. When I first see my partner, she has great energy. And I know right away, it's very positive. We're kind of running out of daylight, so hopefully we can get water started. Oh, I think that's a great idea. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Woo woo. Water. After we get water, we've decided that we need some fire so that we can boil and purify it. This fire starter, actually, my grandpa gave it to me. Clearly, I've used it a time or two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we have fire. My yeah. partner can build a fire, you're awesome. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, I feel like we're killing it. My partner is in good spirits. We've got fire day one. So far, I am so thankful that I got Joe as my partner. He's so encouraging, he's patient, he's really knowledgeable. I feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, I would chest bump you, but kind of awkward naked, so. <laughs> this actually looks pretty promising. Oh, look at that. Joe! Yeah? You found us a grub. All right. Ah, it's wiggling. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Stay with me. Oh, wow. Whoa. Also, here comes my partner with the treat of the day. Two huge grubs. Ooh. Instantly, like, my heart is sinking because I know that we have to eat these poor guys and they're, like, dying in front of me. We do, like, prayer, like, bless us, our Lord, and these I gifts we're about to receive my bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's very Catholic. Amen. <laughs> it's like leaking out stuff. All right. Okay. That's really good. Is it? It's, it's nutty. That's really good. Okay. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay. You can do it. Oh, I can't look at it. That's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. Delicious. That's grublicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get some mud. The grub's so mushy. It like crunches and explodes. Ugh. Thank you, grub. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. There was. Did you? Would you eat another one? On day seven. <laughs> it's not that our bed's uncomfortable, because it's actually pretty nice. It's the fact that it's completely inundated with ants that want to crawl in every direction. We're deciding to try to rub some ash on us and hopefully get some of these bugs off of us. Oh, it's great. Hot sand and ash on your body. Too hot? Nope, it's good. Joe's more of a touchy-feely guy. 
I tend to not be as much as he is. Not that I'm not like a warm person, but that's just who Joe is. It's so cold at night. We know we're gonna spoon. That's, you just have to do, that's survival. She's so yeah. small, she fits perfectly. And being so much older than her, I feel really protective of her. I get the sense from Joe, based on his background, like he 100% believed marriage was death to his part and grew up very, very Catholic and talks about God all the time. And so it's one of those things, like, I don't even want to toy with or bring up until I feel safe in doing so. The real thin ones, you can really get it tight. It's yeah. just so not worth working with those thicker bottoms. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I feel a million times better having something on. All right. Turn my back so you don't get to see the rush in the opening act. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, nice. There you go. It won't rub on your legs <laughs> or anything. Nope, that looks good. Yeah. Much better. This is the petite model, so yeah, this is good. <laughs> I guess that is like the benefit of having your partner be a lesbian. She doesn't care if it's the giant model or the petite model. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right? <laughs> sure. There's always that little fear in the back of my mind of rejection. Teach their own, you know? Yeah. I just, it doesn't make any difference to me. It doesn't make or break you as a partner. It doesn't make you break you as a person. It makes absolutely zero difference to me. As far as I'm concerned, her sexual orientation has nothing to do with what we're doing here. She, she, her les being a lesbian has no more implications than me being straight. My fiance would be going, yes, yeah, know, she's a lesbian. Like, yeah, know. <laughs> you know, I think when a person comes out uh, to a person, it builds a trust. Every time we encounter something difficult, we build a, a, another brick in our foundation. And hopefully at the end of 21 days, we've got a heck of a foundation built, complete trust with one another, you have to have that. One of the more glamorous parts of our camp is our latrine. This is our digging hole. But I haven't pooped for eight days. Probably a lot of it is because I haven't eaten much. I haven't gone once since we've been out here. Eight days. Eight days. Yes. We decided to eat chameleon for lunch. It's the best chameleon I've ever eaten. There isn't a lot of meat on a chameleon, but it's more protein than we've seen in eight days. Can you hand me that head? Yeah. Cheers to survival. <laughs> Maybe I can finally poop and not feel like crap. I still haven't gone. Oh. Maybe I'll poop today. We are hoping for that. It's day 11, still hasn't happened. Day 12, still haven't pooped. It is day 13. I am a little concerned that I haven't pooped. Um, I think anybody would be. Oh, Oh, my god. That is an egg. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy crap. Hey, can we find enough food to make Andrea poop? <laughs> yeah. Look at that little thing. It looks awesome. It does. Mmm, smells like egg. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It tastes like an egg. <laughs> we have just under a week till our extraction day comes up. Both of us are exhausted. Both of our bodies are exhausted. We have, uh, we have some kind of ground birds here. They call them Franklins kind of a ground feeder bird. This is a trap that was used in South America. It's just a cage, you're building a cage. It's kind of mushy, but maybe we'll give it some fragrance. Africa's not giving us anything. It's so harsh out here. All right. As you can tell, we are 
losing weight. Yeah, I'm getting a lot thinner than I was coming in here. Thin, thin. I am feeling rough today. Oh. Yeah. Check our bird snares. No, it's empty. I don't know who has or hasn't gone days without eating, but what it does is you just feel like you're in slow motion. Like, mentally, you break down a little bit. And I think this is the part of the challenge where... Oh, man. Protein would be monumental right now. It's hard to do much of anything because I'm hot, I'm worn out, and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I don't give a how good you think you are. I think I'm as tough as they come, but I now know what, uh, what toughness is. This is tough. Oh my God. Andrea! Yeah! Come quick! Oh my God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this bird. Heck yeah! For the record, this is my incredibly happy, unbelievable, we did it face. Oh my gosh, we didn't have dinner! That's a huge bird! Like, I feel overwhelmingly, unbelievably happy. Oh my gosh. I had like one bite and swallowed it and my stomach just is thanking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Today's E-Day is nothing like I imagined. Watching that sun come up this morning is a religious moment. It's a great feeling. For Andrea and Joe's extraction, they'll need to journey through the swamps in water of unpredictable depths. So they spend the next few hours assembling a reed raft. Yeah, it's looking solid. Yep. Headed home. It's our ride home. Cold ride home. It goes back a long way, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, on you. Let's just be really quiet. Is he over there? Yeah. Let's go. I don't see much of an opening up there. Me either. We may be hoofing it from here on out. Yeah, we may be abandoning the ship now. <laughs> <gasps> that is cold and deep. I hate not being able to see underneath me. Yeah. There's a little bit of a trail here. Maybe we just need to listen now. I know. If you can hear anything. Listen. The boat! Yeah! Yeah! Yes. Oh my God! Hey! For me, this has been the ultimate challenge. Woo! I asked for two things in a partner. Someone who could work hard, I want someone with a soul. Thank you for being my partner. Thank you for putting up with me for 21 days. I'm pretty lucky. so thankful that I did this. I feel like that little bit of confidence that I lost when I got out of law enforcement has been restored. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I feel like this gifted it to me, and I will treasure that always. Yeah! Yeah! It 
in me going through Naked and Afraid and having PTSD. I think, personally, it's so rewarding to say, you know what, no, I'm not weak, I am strong, and look how strong I am. And coming home with that gift has changed my world in a way that I can't even explain.